Hey everyone, Comic Static, and today we'll be breaking down the new details and updates we have regarding the DCU's Supergirl film. Now, when this film was announced and they revealed that it would be based off Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, I think everyone was excited. Supergirl Woman of, Tom Woman of Tomorrow is one of the best Supergirl comics, one of the best DC comics in the last few years, last decade probably, maybe even in more than just a decade. And it's so, it's cool that we finally have some new details. Details that reveal this film may be coming to us sooner than we imagined. First up, Anna Noguera has been tapped to write the script, screenplay adaptation of Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And while this might not incite any reactions, as this isn't really a well-known writer, I think James Gunn's reaction to this sells everything about it. He says, he says her adaptation is above and beyond anything he hoped it would be. And I think we can say the same for all of us. Obviously, we haven't seen the film. We haven't got to know anything writing-wise. But just the aura surrounding this film and a lot of the projects in the DCU have me fully bought in and excited for everything. There just seems to be this level of excitedness and genuine joy. And I can't wait. I, I, f I have a feeling that these movies are going to deliver on every standpoint. What makes this even better is that the creators of Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, Tom King and artist Belquis Evely, are expected to advise this film in some capacity. Either through Tom King tweaking or looking over the script, or maybe Belquis adding a little flair of her visual style to the film's effects, which I hope, because if there's even... If they use even an ounce of her style from the comic books in this film, it's going to be one of the most visually beautiful and unique comic book films ever. And that's something else that makes these DCU films unique, and I kind of wish Marvel would play into more. Using the comic creators. Having such an emphasis on the comics and the creators. It just makes it feel more special and more unique. And I, lo I love Marvel and the MCU. I will always love Marvel and the MCU. But I do hope they start leaning into that side a bit more in the future. This actually isn't the first time we've learned about Anna Naguera's connection to the film. As the DCEU leaks subreddit had revealed this information almost 200 days ago. That means she was tapped to pin this script before the, the writer's strike. Which explains our next point. They're now looking for directors. It is being reported that James Gunn and the creators are now actively searching for a director for this film, and is it, ex it is expected to be a female filmmaker, and that has me excited because they're already searching for a director. That means they're deeper into the writing process than we thought. I think this film is going to come out sooner rather than later. In fact, I think it could come out half a year to maybe eight months after Superman Legacy, and I think we could see a lot of correlation between the two films. They really want to establish these two in the same universe, establish the House of L, and I'm really excited to see. As for who could direct this film, I think there's a wide variety of choices, from well-knowns to first-timers. It's really a cavalcade of who's who's and who could be great, and it's really hard to pinpoint, but I think some great candidates would be Greta Gerwig. I mean, she just proved herself many times, but with the Barbie movie, I think she's I think she's a fantastic director, and I'd love to see her. But I think another candidate that a lot of people might not think is Bryce Dallas Howard, who's actually directed a lot of the Disney Plus Star Wars episodes. But if you go and look at her episodes of The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, you'll see why. She is a great director. Her episodes are always 10 out of 10s, for, for me at least, from at least a directing standpoint. They're always great. In addition to James Gunn hiring Noguera to write the Supergirl film, he's actually given her an overall deal for DC Studios, which means she's going to be writing for a few more projects in the future. Whether that be maybe more female-led projects or a Supergirl sequel or if Supergirl appears in another movie. Who knows? But this is exciting. and It's, it's just something new. This whole DCU universe... It's just full of excitement and wonder because it's something new and there's actual excitement and creatives behind it that love these characters rather than a studio who's looking for a cash grab. And that's, I think that's something all of us fans want. 
We want people that actually care about these characters and that know these characters so that we can get good projects. For our last bit of news today, uh, Variety actually revealed that Crypto the Superdog will be involved in this film, which makes complete sense as Crypto is one of the driving forces of the plot in the comic book. So to exempt him from this film would be weird, especially if it's an adaptation directly of that story. But all in all, I'm really excited for this film. I'm really excited for the DCU, for Superman Legacy, Swamp Thing, Lanterns, for everything they've announced. It all just, like I said, it's just this aura of wonder and excitement and newness because people who actually care are behind these projects. Who knows? They, they could suck. Who knows? I'd like to go into them thinking they won't and they'll be great. But I have faith in the DCU. I really do, especially with James Gunn at the helm. Supergirl is becoming one of my favorite DC characters, especially as I go deeper into her lore and read some of her comics. And I'm very excited to see how they adapt this story, especially. Regardless, I'm excited. You should all be excited. Thank you for watching this update on Super Hero 1 of Tomorrow. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Thank you for watching.